Courtney Bennett here with Team Tito's, overseeing Arizona and New Mexico for Tito's Handmade Vodka. Today and every day, Tito's Handmade Vodka sends love and goodness by supporting our communities and nonprofits across the country through our philanthropic arm, Love Tito's. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th through October 15th, our team is amplifying those efforts by supporting local nonprofits that celebrate Hispanic heritage and spread love and goodness in Latinx communities, such as the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and Chico Latin Indigenous Art and Culture. To get involved and learn more, visit lovetitos.com. Esos esfuerzos apoyando organizaciones sin fines de lucro locales que celebran la herencia hispana y difunden el amor y la bondad en las comunidades la NX, como la Cámara de Comercio Hispana de Arizona y Chico, arte indígena, latino y cultura. Para participar y obtener más información, visite lovetitos.com. And now we take a journey to El Salvador. Y ahora vamos de viaje al Salvador. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm Councilwoman Laura Pastor in the heart of the city, rocking District 4. I am here with Arizona Hispanic Chamber, Monica Villalobos, CEO. Yes, I thank am you so, so much. proud of you. Thank and you, woman Laura. at that level. Woohoo! We rock, right? We rock. Yes. And I'm <laughs> also with Donna Valdez from Chico Gallery, the executive director. Yes. Tell me what's happening at the Chamber. Oh, we're so excited. Your Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is healthier and stronger than it's ever been. Last year in 2020, despite the pandemic, we made $130 million impact in access to contracts and financing for minority-owned businesses. We raised a half a million dollars in new monies. We gave back $200,000 in micro grants to our minority business members. And we did all of that without having to furlough, layoff, or cut back salaries. So we are looking forward to a great 2021 now. Uh, we're moving forward. We're here for our members. And we are so excited to be a part of this Hispanic Heritage Celebration. I am excited to hear all that great news, especially during the pandemic and COVID and how we are resilient and continue to work and strive and build the economy. I appreciate all the work that you are doing. What else are you doing? We're doing lots of things. We have many events coming up. We encourage everyone to visit us online at azhcc.com and make sure that you're on our live streams or at our events getting all that in important information, we focus in five key areas at the Arizona Hispanic Chamber, which include economic development, market intelligence, uh, capacity building, advocacy, and education, making sure that our young folks are getting the education they need to continue contributing and making an impact on Arizona's economy. So we're here celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. We are going to be making a drink from El Salvador. Ooh. I would like to invite Andrew, our mixologist from Tito's Handmade Vodka. So this next drink is a fun one. El Salvador is, uh, in my research here, found a really unique mixture here. So uh, something very exclusive to El Salvador in that region is something called cola champagne. Uh, it is a unique non-alcoholic mixer, a soda made from sugar cane. You'd think by the color that it may taste like orange, but you'd be wrong. It's uh, it's tricky like that. It actually has kind of a nice creamy uh, flavor that is very unique. Uh, I'd have to compare it to something closer to like a cream soda, if anything. Uh, so this is just a simple drink you can make at home for yourself. Just something you can mix up and enjoy on a nice day. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead with an ounce and a half of Tito's Handmade Vodka. And you could use a rocks glass or a Collins glass or whatever you've got laying around. And that's going to be simply topped with some of that unique cola champagne. And then garnished with a lime wedge. Cheers. Salud, Andrew and everybody. Salud. 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 What I like is that we're celebrating 
all the different countries, Latin American countries, in our Hispanic Heritage Month, which shows the diversity throughout our whole city and state. Once again, Councilwoman Laura Pastor in the heart of the city, Rockin' District 4.